friends welcome back to my channel okay so i do some pre-thinking we have pal a is what did i say pal avery pal b is bailey and pal c is cassandra so pick the pal that best resonates with you make sure you go with your first mind because your first mind is your best mind and I want to I want to quickly come on here and do this reading. So this reading is not going to be super long, but it's what do they think about you? Okay, so pick your pal, and then we're gonna get started. Hi, pal A. So I've been talking to y'all this whole time, but I guess I wasn't recording. <laughs> Thank God we didn't get through that long. Um, okay, so how do they feel about you? This is a lot about how they feel. Just in general, I mean, what do they think about you? This is some of how they feel as well. Um. This person wants to connect with you. They want to talk to you and they're trying to figure out what to say. I think this person wants a second chance and they want to get back in your world. It's like they're still very much interested and they want to tell you that. They want to talk. This person might text you. They might call, email. However y'all communicate. They might DM. You know, whatever y'all do. <laughs> but I feel like this person wants to kind of like transform with you and grow in some way because like they think that you are somebody that's enjoyable you are somebody that they want to forgive and and open up to and not have trust issues with they want to have oneness and passion they they feel like you they think that you are someone that that will be good with spending time with but i don't i don't feel like this is something that is like um what do they think this is more of how they feel like they feel like you guys are are in silent energy and, and not talking and not together but they want happiness they, they want to heal they want to not control and not possess but just uplift they, they want to be back in your world pretty much but this is not how they think what do they think <clears throat> oh let's do some tarot i haven't done tarot in a while give me a tarot deck What do they think? Mm -hmm. What do they think about Pal A? Knight of Wands. King of Swords. The Five of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles. Have you two been fighting? Is that what's going on? Being defensive, but wanting a happy home. Okay, so they see you as someone as fiery, but very logical, and you have good points. Um, they want—I don't know if they want to argue. They see you as somebody who likes to fuss and fight, or maybe you're very sharp with your tongue. But then they see you as being someone that's very romantic and wanting to spend time and date and go out and just enjoy one another and date. You know, <laughs> they see you as someone that wants to be romantic. That you're probably very, um, very, uh, I don't want, I don't know what to say it is, very suave with your words. You're very, uh, you're slick. No, <laughs> Maybe you're someone that's like, um, I don't know. It just says like you, you have emotion and you know how to express it. Okay. And they feel like they will have a happy, a happy life with you. Um, but it's something that they feel like maybe you're searching for, but you, you're very good with like enjoyment and you're focused on some type of finances like you might have your finances together or you're nurturing it you're trying to take care of it this person sees you as a soulmate and thinks that you you might be a little defensive and a little little uh and i'm gonna say it if you don't believe that you are you might be just you know check yourself if you don't believe it but it's some energy of fighting and some energy of argument here um, the five of wands is my y'all fighting, <laughs> y'all fighting. Somebody says something and it's y'all going back and forth. And but five is also the number of change, so it, it maybe they they see that you have more than just that energy in you. Um, 
they honestly see you have a lot of things going on in your life. But they can see themselves being happy with you like you will build a happy home with them. Yeah? I'm done? Okay. What do they think? What does how a person think about them? There's potential in this. There's potential to enjoy this with this person. There's potential for good energy and to be able to build on this relationship. The potential is limitless. As long as you stay connected to spirit and whatever that means to you, uh, prayer, affirmations, manifestation, um, giving offerings, lighting candles, whatever y'all do to get closer to your spirit, do it because they're saying like we will help you with this energy, All right? You just have to waken up to that. Like your twin, your not your twin, um, your love is not ready, but they want to have enjoyable playful life full i don't think that's a word but good moments with you mm -hmm. they want to have a good time so no um i think they're saying there's some type of unfocused energy what is this energy what is this mm. okay you gotta split your energy you have to split your energy you have to split your energy between love and relationships because you have other things going on that need that needs your attention. Um, it's talking about your career, your business, and your success. There will be offerings of uh, gestures of maybe um, getting back together and maybe getting engaged if that's your next level. Uh, weddings, if that, that's the next. Moving in, you know, there will be offers of more with this person. But you have to split your energy in between thinking about love and between thinking about career success and business success. Claiming your success in this world. You have other things to do. Okay? Okay, I gotta go. But I love y'all. Okay? Don't you ever feel like I'm abandoning you, okay? I'm here. I'm just not here right now. I gotta go. So, let me know what y'all think about this. I want y'all to be blessed and not stressed, okay? Don't think so much about love. We got other things to concentrate on. Whoever you want is coming back. They think highly of you, but they think that you have a sharp tongue. Um, and But they also think that you make good points. So, you know... Just try not to fight so much or be defensive, you know? Be open-minded. So let me know what y'all think about this. If it made any type of sense, let me know in the comment section, please. Because I'm curious. And um, I'll talk to you beautiful people in the next one. Hi, pal B. How y'all feeling today? I hope y'all are blessed and not stressed, you know what I'm saying? So how does this person, about for pal B, how does pal B's person... What do they think about them? What does Pal B's person think? What does Pal B's person think about them? What does Pal B's person think about them? Ooh. -oh. We got the page of cups. We have the lovers card. And we have the seven of pentacles with the eight of cups and the sun card. Oh, we loving it so far. Mainly because of the sun card. I love the sun card. And the lovers card is a pretty good one too. It's a pretty good one. What do they think about Pal B? <laughs> this person likes you. They they got a little bit they got a little bit of feelings. They got a little bit of feelings there for you. A little bit. What does Pal B's person think about them? It's not even like this is not even like the perception of what they think about you. This is like kind of how they feel. 
kind of what they want, uh, kind of what they see for you in them, pretty much. Um, they see that you have someone, some love to offer. They see that you have some love to offer. They're not sure how much love, but they see that you have, you have a cup. Okay, you have something to offer, and they feel their connection with you. Um, it's energy of waiting and trying to discover, and trying to trying to see. But they feel happiness and they want they want more. They want some type of more commitment. They see that you have this strong energy, like you are um, fearless, like you are someone who can tame. I don't want to say this word. I mean, it's not a bad. You're someone that can tame them. You can um, bring them peace and calm through through madness, and that makes them want to like kind of move forward. There is some type of sadness that they see. It's, it's some type of sadness that they see. Maybe you living in the energy of regret, but they also see that like you're trying to move forward. You're not staying stuck in that type of energy. Yeah. They, they're seeing that you are someone who like takes care of yourself. You take care of others. Like you might be someone who is like, um, have your own business or you're very business minded someone who can go get the bacon fry it up and then serve it and do all these things because you are a superwoman or superman you know what i'm saying it's the energy of you being someone that can really take care of their needs emotionally like you you fill your own cups and they see that they see that you are someone who ha who has a lot to give this person likes you, okay? Um, yeah, they 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 do like you, and it's the energy of like seeing that it could be more, you know? Okay, cool, cool. Three, 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 angel number love. According to Woman's Day, what does three hundred thirty-three mean for love and relationships? When it comes to your love life or your twin flame, the angel number 333 can mean that it's time for you and your partner to take things to the next level. Jenna points out, 333 is telling you there is a true sign of passion, devotion, and loyalty on both ends. Mm -hmm. I agree. It seems like there's, a, there's just a lot of love here. If this person sees a lot. Like They think a lot of you. They think very highly of you. Okay, well, let's dig a little deeper. Let's dig a, just a little bit. Look, I got a couple more minutes for you. Let me see. Let's dig a little deeper. No? Okay. These cards? Put a stack All right. How be? What do they think about you for Pow B? What do they think? How are you? What are they thinking about you? Balance. Yin and yang. Darkness and light. Fresh ideas manifest growth. Plant seeds. There's movement, adventure, being ready for new experiences. This person appreciates you. You appreciate them. And there will be family support. observe so um there is a curiosity in your relationship with this person and where it's about to go is going to be something new and like a new experience so I always tell you manifest what you want Ask for what you want, okay? Especially when God is saying, what do you want, okay? What do you want to happen? So you can just write down like a couple of experiences. You know, for example, right? For me, because I'm manifesting, so I'm saying it out loud. And also, I want to thank St. Expedito, okay? He is amazing for my spiritual girls and guys who like candles and ask, you know, um, people up there for help. St. Expedito brings money 
and blessings very, very quickly. And he is my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how else to say it. But, like, I fuck with him. Because he works quickly and he does what he says he's going to do. And when you're asking him for things, if you want a little bit more information, let me know. You know, email me. I got you. But if you're asking for things, be very, very, very clear with what you say to him. Okay? Be very clear. Okay? Be careful what you ask for. Don't be scared of that. But be very clear when you're asking for things. Okay? Just in general. Especially when it comes to this. Be very clear. I want you to write down an experience. Just this is your homework for tonight. Write down an, a, write down an experience. Okay? And I'm going to make a PDF and I'm going to put it in the description box so that you can be organized with this experience. But write down an experience that you want to happen with this person. I'm not playing with y'all. Okay? Because it's saying that you can have all these things. And there's going to be appreciation and awakening up to this love. Um, y'all might have kids together. I don't really know how to interpret this card. Um, it's like family support. But when I see this, I see uh, children and building a family with one another. It's even telling you to raise your vibration so that you can attract what you want. Because now is the time for you to start making empowered choices and rising above drama and bullshit. Okay? We want you to use your imagination. We want you to be productive in your creation because fall time is going to be when your energy is going to manifest. So don't move in fear. I had to learn the lesson very quickly. Don't move in fear and don't be afraid to move forward. Your person is in silence but shifting their energy to be very clear and it's going to be unexpected with this new perception that they're going to get. This person is going to come after you. They're going to pursue you. Okay? Okay. And this person is going to look beyond something. Look beyond something that wasn't working before. Or look beyond something. And maybe it wasn't just like with you two. Maybe it was just in their love life. And they, because they feel the spiritual connection to you. This person feels like you are a part of their soul's journey. So, I'm going to put a PDF in the description box later on today. Because I got to create it, right? So <laughs> later on today, but it's going to be in there. And I want you to take that, print it out, or open it up on good notes or notability, wherever you use or write on, you know, whatever you do. And use this to be able to help you to get your mind together so that you can script different experiences you want. And you can print that page as much as you like, okay? I got to go. It's been blessed. Oh, my stomach is growling, growling, growling in, child. What is that? Growling. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Check out for the PDF because I want you to start manifesting. You know, I want you to start manifesting. It's important. And I'll talk to you beautiful people in the next one. My stomach is growling. I am hungry, apparently. I'll talk to y'all. Pal C. Okay, before we get started, because I already told this to Pal B. I didn't tell it to Pal A because it came up in Pal B. I am creating a PDF. Okay, something that you can print, you can open up in good notes, or you can open up in notability. And it's going to be something where you can use whatever you use. And is you can write down, I want y'all to start scripting. Writing down an experience that you want and love. Okay, and you'll be able to copy it, print it as many times as you want to. Um, but look out for that link. I got to create it after this video. All right, Jesus, where we going today? Hmm, okay, so they have something to say. So what does Pal C's person want to say to them? Does it make sense, sense Pal C, what I just said? I have a PDF that's going to be a scripting PDF. Scripting is when you write down what you want to experience. Some of my beautiful beauties already know that. Y'all got it already. So... But for the ones that don't, I'm going to give a little description to help you along your process. But mainly, this PDF is going to be something where you are going to write down what you want to experience in your love life. An event that you want to happen, you know. Say, for instance, you want to be romantical with somebody, right? And you want some loving, you know. Maybe you want some good dick or you want some good pussy. Or maybe you just want some good times with your person. So you can say, well, I came over such and such house and they had this type of energy towards me and maybe they prepared something for me and the whole night we stayed on the couch enjoying each other eating watching tv having nasty sex you know and it was just an overall good time 
You can say stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But let's get started. For Palsy. And if y'all hear something, my stomach is growling. So apparently I'm hungry. But that's fine. That, that is totally fine. I'm always hungry. Palsy. So what if, oh, your person has something to say to you. I want to give you focus. All right. I want to give you fuck. And I want to hold on to you so I'm coming back. All right. Okay. What do you want to say to Pal C? Let me know. Let me know. I'm trying to move on without you. All right. And that has nothing to do with you. Okay. I feel a soul connection. And I need you right now because I want to exchange energy. So your person is saying that they want to give you some energy because they want to hold on to you. So they want to come back. I'm coming, baby. I missed you. Okay. They're coming back. And they want to move forward. It has nothing to do like they if they ever took some time away from you, it had nothing to do with you. It was them trying to move. Is it trying to move on on? Trying to move forward in some type of endeavor in their life that they couldn't take you with them. If it had nothing to do with you. It wasn't you. It was me. Conversations that I haven't had with you was on purpose. I need to focus on me. So if this person has ever like, you know, you reached out to them, they did not reach out to you. That's because they, they couldn't at the time. And look, I'm sorry for hurting you. Oh, you can't see that. Sorry for hurting you. Okay. All right. Last card. What's sad. This person's saying that they're sad about something and that they're not okay. Huh? Why are you sad? Because I have feelings for you. I want excitement. I've ran, but I want to be with you. I was focused on other things, but I want to be with you. That's why they're saying that. Aww. Is that so? Is that so? They've been building on wealth. They've been building on structure, stability in their life. You know, it's very important. It's very important. Um, but how, what do they think? I don't want to use... Is this the same deck? No, I don't want to use this deck. I want to use... That's the after... I want to use the before tarot. Where's my before tarot? Lord, I have so many cards, but I don't have so many cards. I can always use more. Where is... Okay, that's the actual tarot deck. So where is my before tarot deck? It's like when you need it, you can't find it, right? But when you don't need it, it's right there. And you know what? We're just going to use the reverse deck today. It's fine. I haven't used you in a while anyways. So, but I'm missing a deck. Oh, I'm missing a deck. Where you at? Anyways, how does Pal B, Pal C, are we on Pal C? How does Pal C's person feel about them? No, 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 no. How does Pal C's person think? What do they think about them? Yeah, that's the question. That's the question, y'all. Mm. They think that you need to take more care of yourself. Um, Not to be offensive, not to be offensive. But like, sometimes we give all we can to people and we forget about ourselves. It's a real thing. Don't fight me, okay? They see that you need to take more care of yourself. Because the reason why I say that, on this side of the card, it's beautiful, nurturing, her grass is green. You know what I'm saying? Don't judge my nails, judge yourself. And I'm doing my nails today. And on this side, you don't have any of that. You have scratches on your wall. You have a broken uh, pillar. I think that's what it is. But you still have growth. You have rabbits, which is fertility. You have that bird, which is messages, I believe. And, um... I forgot the other description of a bird, but 
you have these things you have the possibility of these things but you're not taking care of your possibilities so i think this person sees you as someone who has so much potential but maybe you're not going after or using or you know having your highest potential something like that child ace of wands yeah they see you as someone who has a lot of fire in them you have a lot of passion you have a lot of passion. You have a lot of passion. And they see you as someone that they can have a really good time with. Like, they see you as someone that's very enjoyable. They think you're very enjoyable. But you also might take time to focus on yourself. Maybe your spiritual values. Maybe they see you as someone who will, will retreat when you need to. But they also see you as someone like that has a big heart. And you're available to give love. And you have a lot of like fiery energy. <laughs> this person uh, feels this passionate connection with you. I can tell you that much. Um, and they want to hold on to this passion. They see that you have something to offer. They definitely see you as someone that has to offer. But at times there is like a, um, a disconnect. Even though, like, maybe they want to move forward or you want to move forward. Maybe you give the energy of wanting to move forward one day and the next day you're probably not talking to them. Or maybe it's a disconnect. Or maybe it's the opposite. They're doing that. But overall, I feel like this person feels like you might be spirit justice for me. So Spirit is saying like when you are justified in something in your life, you will stand up for it and defend it. Like when you believe in something strongly, you have an opinion and you're decisive about it. Like you're very strong in this opinion. Like you're not letting anyone be able to stir you or be able to push you down when you believe wholeheartedly in something and you believe in justice and balance. This person thinks good. Like, they think that you have good energy to love. Like, they, they they, see you as someone that they can have a good time with. They have a lot of passion for you. But you can do better with maybe taking care of yourself and your possibilities and, and nurturing your own garden. You know, we got to nurture our own gardens, okay? Because ain't nobody going to nurture our own gardens but us. Um... But they see you as someone who has a lot of passion behind you. Like, that's why they see you. I can see that's why they see you having so much potential, but you're not doing anything with it. Like, you have so much fire and you can, you have so many goals and passion. This person sees you as someone that is full of possibilities. You just got to go after it. They want, they want to see you go after it. I hope this may need to have a sense to y'all. Okay. So, my loves, let me know what y'all think about this. Wait for the PDF because I'm going to do it right after this. And I want y'all to be blessed and not stressed, okay? Please be blessed and not stressed. And let me know what you think about this. And I'll talk to you, the beautiful people, in the next one.